All right, today, welcome to the Journey with the Schwarms. We have a privilege today. We actually are with one of our local students. We get to help people all over the country now, which is great because of technology. We're one of our local students right here who had a question on a house that's right in the neighborhood where our, our office is. Yep. And we've probably flipped about 50 houses in the neighborhood <laughs> over the years, so we kind of know like the back of our hands. So it just worked out that they were here and they had a question and they needed some question on design. And so we brought the pro in to design. So let's get started with the fun part. Let's, let's talk about this house. So I kind of know what that looks like. We'll go over there in a minute. Okay. This is what I'm not familiar with. So why don't you kind of give me the lay of the land and what, what you're planning on doing here? Uh, like you said earlier, we're pretty sure this whole side is basically a big addition. Yep. I see the kitchens there. Our plan for this was to do a big dining room. Okay. Uh, I see want to get your thoughts on the kitchen dining yep. room area, but we were thinking about maybe getting rid of this little wall and doing like a little island or something here. Um, just to give us some more cabinet space. Well, yeah, because the kitchen is small. This is a big it house. It is small, right. Especially and with this addition. Right. And there's four bedrooms. There's going to be two baths when we're done. Okay. So it's probably going to be a bigger family that moves in. We want yep. a bigger kitchen, bigger fridge, bigger appliances yes. to suit them. So, so is that like a little breakfast nook? Or that what? here is actually the laundry area. Oh, this so, is laundry. So okay. We laundry here. Okay. And then we're going to make a little closet here. And then this will just be, you know, some open area so they can we maybe put a table or something here so they can fold laundry and... and Okay. They can kind of make it their own. So what do we have over here? I see there's so some... We go this way. We got, you know, this goes out to the back patio. Um, okay. this, that's like a three season room back there. And this is a bedroom, a pretty big bedroom. Um, we, had, we added the closet because that wasn't here before, but we added right. that to make it an official bedroom because I don't think that counted before. Right. Because there was no closet. My opinion is that this should most definitely be the kitchen. You just have so much more wall space in here for cabinets and countertops. If you put the kitchen in here, you're going to end up, the, o the only room you have is to do a very small L-shaped kitchen right here. You've got maybe a spot here, but if you just stick a refrigerator there, it's going to look totally out of place. You also have no electrical on this wall. Right. There's so you have to add electrical. Yeah. But you can't put a cabinet there because it'll be higher than the window unless you put a smaller window in. So you've got this really small kitchen with no, in this big house, right. four bedroom, two bath house. This kitchen is not big enough for a four bedroom, two bath house. It's just way too small. Okay. <laughs> and there's no room for an island. You know, there's, there's not room for anything. By the time you get your refrigerator and your stove in. That's been our big issue. And a dishwasher. Yeah. You're out of room. And you don't have much room over here, and you can't you can't go too far over here because you're going to run into the stairs and right. not have clearance to walk through. So you, you have to put the kitchen over here. Yeah. You don't have to. <laughs> you could <laughs> you you could choose to leave it where it's at. Right. But that is going to be a major um, design flaw for a buyer of a house this size. Second to the kitchen, this area is my biggest concern for when you know if I come through this house with the eyes of a buyer. Right. This is such wasted space over here because so you've got, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's like you've got this, you know, three, three and a half foot hallway here. Then you've got like this other like five foot hallway here that goes to a back door. Right. You can't put furniture in here. This, this they room is... like a little bench or something in here or some cubbies or something. But why do people, why would somebody need that? If you take this wall out, you're going to gain that weird closet, this weird hallway that leads to the back door and all of this hallway to be one big room. This is like a family room. Yeah. So instead of having three useless areas, right. you have another living space. This is great. This is 36, right? Yes. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suggest that you change it at this point because you've already got it built in. Um, I try to always put at least a 48 inch base in just because like when it's all tiled and everything, 36 just feels kind of small. Um, to an adult and even though you did that because of the angled ceilings yeah, yeah. so you could still keep your plumbing where it's at on the high part of the ceiling and then have your 48 inch base come out to here even though the back side of it is still on a little bit of the slant that's not a big deal and it just makes it feel a lot more grand and a lot bigger if you're going to do the work anyway Go big. bigger is better <laughs> <laughs> this is a great space you know, yeah. if somebody has a huge headboard, they might have an issue with this because there's not the, the wall space for that. Sure. But most people don't buy houses around their furniture. Every right. now and then you'll get somebody that does. But um, but yeah, overall, this is great. The dormer is fantastic, just having yeah. that extra space there. The big question we had for this room is the, the 
closet. So originally we were going to block oh, right. kind of this area off and turn this into a closet. Yeah. And then we looked at this and actually if we wrap this all the way around, there, there's substantially more closet showing space. So in a perfect world, yes, the closets are in the bed in the bedroom itself, but since this is the only bedroom up here and it's got a bathroom attached to it, it's not the end of the world to have closets outside of the bedroom. Okay. So I would definitely make this a closet. Just put a little bifold door on it. Or, or even, you know, what would look cute here is two little double doors. You could move, bring this wall out flush with the wall that's covering the chimney there. Yep. And make that closet quite a bit bigger. Okay. So then that closet would be, you know, we've got, We've got almost six feet to there. And then so the door to the bathroom would be here instead of here now. Right. So we, you know, it, which this is not usable space anyway. So it's not going to hurt to put the door here instead. And then that would give you a six foot closet, which is a really good size closet. Okay. All right, so talk numbers. So what'd you guys, what, where'd you find it first, first off? Where'd you find the house? We just found it on the MLS. It was, um, oh, yeah. Our realtor sent it to us. He says this is a flip. Look into it. Oh. Um, it was originally listed for 89. It was only on the market for a couple of days. We threw an offer out of 79. Not. We were so busy. We're like, let's just throw an offer out. We're not gonna get it because people are buying everything that hits the market, especially yeah. buyers this time of year. Yeah, yeah. And we offered all cash. Yeah. And because we offered quick, uh, quick close, all yeah. cash, they took our offer at 10 grand under asking, and they said they even had. Offers over asking, so I don't know why they went with us, but cash offer, cash is key. So, so yep. People say there's no, you can't find deals in the MLS. I say you can, you just got to be there. Yeah, right. you got to be in the hunt. You got to yeah. be, you got to put an offer. You got to move fast because somebody gets them. Yep. Yeah, literally within like two or three days. So 79. What do you think you'll have in? Uh, our budget was around 50. We're probably gonna be a little bit over that, um, but not too much. Especially after I came today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be way over it then. Even if uh, you're, even if you're at, call it 65 for argument's sake, just move the kitchen, whatever, yeah. 65. So you're, call it 80 to buy it, 60, you're 145 in, call it five grand for closing costs, whatever. Say you're in for 150. What do you think it's going to sell for? We set our ARV at 185, but like I said, we looked no way. and we've been looking around and no stuff way. has been selling for way over two. Over so. two, yeah. You make that kitchen and do that stuff, I'm telling you, I be shocked if you're not at least 220. Yep. All no, right. I think it's going to be beautiful when it's oh done. Oh my god, I think so too. Hey, hey, how's it how going? You? Thank you. Where are you yeah. So you're sold. Yes, we close, we on, close Monday. on Monday. Yes. Exciting. Yep. Oh, it's yep. Super so we moved the kitchen. Went we with, moved went the kitchen. With Amber's uh, suggestion. Yeah, it wasn't a bad idea. It came yeah. out. It looked good. It looked incredible. So much better. Yes, that was way too small. We didn't know what we were gonna do. Obviously, Wait. this is huge now. Yeah. So this, is, this is functional. This, this is, is awesome. a family house now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Plenty, so much we got better. the island with the chairs on that yep. side and. You know. Breakfast nook, dining room, and a bar. I mean. It's all right here. Yeah, the whole thing. So there's the stairs going upstairs. We got the living room over here. This was here, and we just painted it, made it yep. look nice, and kind of made it, you know, two tone, kind of offset it. Look how, um, th I mean, this was a solid wall before, and that's right. how all these houses Both in this sides, neighborhood are. Walls, yeah. So just by putting the spindles in, and these aren't these aren't even expensive spindles; they're just right. the little square ones. Yep. It just makes such a big difference in the house. I yeah. love it. It's got a ceiling fan in, which is great for the summers here. All right, what else we got? Cool. Walk this way. Carried the floors through here. Yep. This is nice great. tile in the bat in the shower and tub area. Yeah, we ended up redoing basically this whole thing. The only thing we left are these little nice cabinets that, but we retiled yep. everything. Um, we did the tub, mm -hmm. all new sink and vanity. Everything in here is all brand new. Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. Let's look upstairs real quick. All right. All right. Upstairs bedroom. Oh, good. This is the master. I'm so glad you guys left that open yeah, instead of yeah, doing a closet. Yeah, that's a good idea. We took your advice. Yeah. Um, we got the having, closet for that there. Yeah. We ended up just keeping it where it was. Right and, yep. You know, there's so much space up here. Like you said, they can do yeah. whatever they want. Right. So, yeah. They're, it's functional. Yeah. Put great. the bed on that. Yeah. This looks great. Awesome. Nice. Oh, let's see. All right. Nice. 
Oh, this does look good. Yeah. Came out nice for the space that we had. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what this was before. There was like a weird bed over here. With no, like, these carpet. rooms are always weird in yeah, all of these houses. Know. Yeah, it was, was kind of creepy. So, you know, we, we made good use of the space. We feel like we, it was kind of a weird room, but it was, you know. yeah. But you know, there's like rooms they can put nooks. You know, somebody could put like a little vanity dressing table in one of these corners. Oh, they could yeah. put like a linen cabinet over in that nook. So, yeah. you know, it's it's a little bit you know unconventional, but it's great to have a second bathroom up here. Right. I know we've had lots of phone calls about this. We got to talk about this. So you had a buried oil tank. Yep. That is here someplace. Right. Under yeah. the kitchen. It was functional. It's functional. Yep. But they wanted to have her. Your buyers were from Las Vegas. Yep. They wanted to have her removed. Correct. So the oil tank is about you know just on the other side of the fridge. It was under the ground. They were concerned about the oil. We grew up on oil. We didn't yeah. care. We didn't see what the issue was. Right. Um, but they. We're scared of it, wanted it removed. So we had to come in, jack up the floor. Everything was finished. Where? Over oh, in that room, that over in that yeah, mud room. So originally we thought the oil tank was in the bedroom. We ripped up the floor, ripped out the concrete. It's not there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Who did the so, work? Did you guys do it? We did most of it, yeah. You, jack, you jackhammered it out. Yeah, because yeah. we had the equipment. So, um, so did you follow like where the pipe came from or did you use a metal detector? Yeah, like, well the, you... the, f the fill pipe comes in right here and came along this wall. So we saw it coming in and going down into the ground right here. So we figured it was right there. Well, it wasn't. It was in the mud room. So we followed okay, the line okay, further. That that? It's what? It, was, it was only a couple inches thick of the concrete. Okay. So it wasn't too bad getting out. Okay. Um, so we found where, where it was, cut the hole, jacked it out again, found the tank this time, called the guy, he came in cleans it out, you know, scrubs it all down, cuts holes in it, takes oil sam or, uh, soil samples, and then fills it up. The and the buyer mean? paid for, you know, the new heating system. So, what, what I did, mean, when does that ever happen? I know. Yeah. <laughs> we were well, she we really, that, we're that the craziest in this market. market. This market yeah, is well, we had now. several offers, and she wasn't even the highest one, but she was offering to do all this stuff. We're like, if you want it that bad, right. like, go ahead. Well, overall, the house looks just amazing. You guys did such an awesome job. Yeah, totally. thank you. Yeah, totally. it was a huge transformation. You guys it was. Like, wow. <laughs> yes. So, thank you for your yeah, words huge. of wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. So talk to us on numbers. Numbers. So we end up, yeah, if I remember correctly, you bought it for, what, 79? 79, yep. That's yeah. what we bought it. We actually lowballed them, so we got it for, you know, below asking, which we were surprised by with everything flying off the shelf yeah, the way it was. Yeah, right. So what did you put in? Well, our, we set aside 50. We figured on 50. Amber came in then and I came. blew up our kitchen, <laughs> so we went to 60. Okay. Um, I think after doing all the oil and everything, I think we spent around 70. Okay. So 79, 70, so you're into it for 150. 150. Yeah. Call it five grand for other stuff. Yep. We got commissions probably, call it 10 grand for whatever, I don't know, maybe not even that much, Building right? cost and all that stuff. So 150, 160? Yeah. Call it? Yep. What'd you sell it for? We sold for 227. So let me do the math. So we talking about 60 grand, 65 grand, probably something like that. Yeah. $65,000. Now, what was your ARV before we decided to move the kitchen? Before we moved the kitchen, we figured the ARV was right around, you know, 190 was our ballpark idea. So you spent an extra 10 grand to move the kitchen. Yep. Then you had budgeted and, and then you, you made you, an extra. You didn't want to do that. You were well, no, we, we were all for it. Oh, I thought you were. It was the old man. The old man didn't want to do it, but oh. we, we were like, yeah. You got $30,000 more. We have $35,000 more. $35,000 more yeah, for, for so moving the kitchen. 10 grand investment, we got 35 back. It just, it, it made everything so much more open and yeah. everything is just, it's so open concept and modern now. Yes. Yeah. Just taking down a couple little walls and changing some railings and yep. moving the kitchen. And I love made it. A huge, huge. It turned out so, great. Since you became yeah. a student, this is what, your sec third flip? This is our second. It's your second flip. Yeah, we and finished. One's so you have one more going. You two flips now, what's your, what's your total profit so far on these two we flips? We thought we made 55 on the last one, we were wrong. We actually made 61. Oh, <laughs> sorry. So we made about 61 on that one. We're looking at about 60 on this one, probably over 60 on this one. $120,000. About a year. 120 grand, right? Not bad, huh? 20 grand. That's awesome, brother. It that is awesome. awesome, man. That, that is awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's what a lot of people make at their full time jobs. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. this is fantastic. We are so happy for you guys. This thank is awesome. You, thank you. Great yes. job. Yep. Awesome. You. Awesome. All right, so thanks for being with us in this Journey with the Schwarms episode. It was fantastic watching Josh and Crystal take this house that was. Fugly and turn it into a beautiful <laughs> home. And they got to have Amber's advice on the kitchen and moving that. I was so glad they took her, her advice on that. 
I should take Amber's advice more probably. Yes, yes he should. Shocker. Mm -hmm. But watching them take a $10,000 investment, really it was, it was a suggestion from Amber, right? And she came in and helped him and coached him through that. $10,000 investment turned into $35,000 worth of return. Amazing. Yeah, and you know, I know for me, like seeing these and seeing our students being financially rewarded and it just like makes it all exciting again. Yeah. You know, like when we do our own, it's like, a, you know, another day in the life of because we've done so many of them and there's some that are still exciting. But to see our students doing it and to see them like being successful, it's just like, like it, it makes me excited again. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So thanks for watching this episode of Dream of the Schwartz. We'll see you in the next one.